Hello everyone. Well, that was a funny thing to do because I did the bonus read and the bonus read was very much like the What's Cracking read and sometimes I have the time and I think, well, you know what, let's go for a third one and let's see what comes out with the third third reading. In fact, what we'll do is we'll go for a third deck. How's that sound? So the reading gets a complete revival. Okay, let's get straight into this one though. I won't blurb on. Okay. All right, we're reading the Seven of Cups at the front here. Okay. The Seven of Cups is a card of choice, a card of illusion and delusion, a card of being confused by too many options. Um, we do have the Devil card behind this, so we may be getting a very different reading here, which is awesome. Um, the Devil is the card of the ego. It's the card of obsession, addiction. It's also the card of wearing a mask. We do have the Empress behind there. This is really beautiful energy here. Someone has changed. Someone's changed quite a lot here. Eight of Pentacles coming in and a Death card, Transformation. The King of Swords coming out too. Maybe not, maybe we are getting something similar. Okay, what I have here is I have a person who through some sort of situation here has gone through a huge transformation. The Devil card says to me that they have been able to either discard or understand that how their ego plays a role in their life and they have been able to drop this mask that they were wearing previously. Um, the Seven of Cups tells me that there was some sort of confusion behind this. Uh, maybe they were living an illusion by wearing the mask. Maybe they were living in a world that really wasn't their right world. Um, the Empress is coming out here. So I feel that this person has found within them their true self, their true person. Um, and now they're moving because they want to work on something here. This transformation here has brought out this King of Swords within them. So you've got someone now who really wants to speak their truth. Now you could be dealing with an air sign, but I do think this is a person who has realized the truth within them they've been able to discard the ego embrace the empress let go of the confusion let go of the mask they were wearing and are now able to step forward in their true self now that's a pretty sort of huge concept for people to understand the ego is something we learn from our younger years from the life we live uh, we learn our ego through our schools our friends our family um, and the ego is the face we show to the world. Now, there is a certain amount of ego in all of us that is healthy. So you may have a different face you wear for work that you might wear for your family, that you might wear for your friends. And that's healthy. Um, as long as you're not acting to be a completely different person, there are some aspects of ourselves that we feel free and easy to show to some people, but we may be a little reluctant to show it to others. And what happens is some of us grow up in uh, very abusive families or very complex situations and grow up with a lot of complex PTSD um, and a lot of other situations. And because of that, we aren't or we don't truly develop who we are. So we become very much a product of our environment. Um, so we may not trust things. We may listen to what our families say. Um, and we may live our lives according to what we've been taught, which may not necessarily be how things are. <coughs> Just for an example, I always think of the little children should be seen and not heard. You know, the fact that, you know, some aspects of a child, say if a child is gay or transgender, um, the, a family may not try to knock that out of a child because they do not believe in that. So the child becomes very shamed about who they are. Um, that's only one sort of example. For others of you, you may have had a very religious upbringing where you have a belief that, um, you know, the world is an evil place, you were born evil, um, all of those sort of things that uh, some of the religions teach. So there's this whole sort of gamut of things that, that Put us in a position 
where we grow up to be very, um, very much a product of that environment. And then when we get to our older years, we start to realize some of that stuff doesn't serve us. And certainly when we get into spirituality and start to raise our vibration, we see a very different world to the one we created when we were children. Um, we let go of fear. We understand we only have one chance at our life. We know we have to go for everything. We may take risks that we didn't take before. We may understand that we don't have to put up with things we don't want to, but all of a sudden our life will become very different. Now, some people lay trapped in that ego, which keeps them in situations that aren't right for them. And when we talk about karmic relationships, very often karmic relationships are the universe saying, we're going to really rip back who you think you are and show you who you truly are. So when I see the cards like that, I think someone has been through this process where they have raised their vibration, they've let go of their conditioning or their childhood conditioning, they've let go of the person they were taught they would were from young years, they may have had a very abusive childhood, they may have had a lot of things happen to them um, as a child that taught them that they should be, you know, uh, the person that they are trying to be as an adult. But it, you never feel the, you never feel like you fit. It makes you feel like an alien because you're trying to be someone that you're not. So if you have that feeling often that you feel like an alien, that's where it comes from. Because you realize that the person you are is very different to the person that you're taught to be in the world. It's so complex. It's so interesting. But what you've got here is someone here who has learned to let go of their ego, let go of the mask they've been wearing and walk into their true self. That is about living in your truth. Um, some people say, oh, you know, but I always tell the truth. Yeah, you can be the most truthful and honest person on the planet, but there's still maybe a lot in your persona or your personality that doesn't really belong to you. It's been manufactured by people who've been around you or raised you. And you know what? Some people live like that so much that they're not the most likable people because they only see themselves in the world. So they don't have a sense of community. They don't have any empathy. And that's the extreme of this where you get your psycho um, and social uh, limited personalities. So and the narcissism sits down that end as well. So sometimes those people are the result of the same things. So sadly, the result of narcissism and empathy come from the same thing. So it's very, very interesting. You've had someone who's been able to discard this. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords coming out first. So the Page of Swords is someone who's been, who has a message to, to speak. And the message is true. They want to say something that, that is the truth. They have this idea, this conception, this way of speaking that they need to talk about. But it's generally very tentative. It's generally done through email, text or whatever because they're not comfortable about coming forward and speaking up on something. So it kind of could be an apology via an email. And then we have the page of cups. This is really interesting because it looks to me like someone's going to give you a very small offer just to see where you sit in this situation. Um, someone's really feeling the love here. So you may have had someone who's done a lot of work. King of Wands coming out again. Um, you've had someone who's done a lot of work to free themselves up from this ego that's held them back. They could have been in another situation where they've been able to discard the past and they're now coming forward. They're very tentative about it though. So they've been very cautious about how they do this. The Two of Swords. So a decision was made to approach you here. Now, it could be you that's doing this too, because you could have done the work. You may now be, be vibrating at a very high level, and you will know that. This isn't something that you think you've done. This is something you know from the very guts of yourself that you've done all the work you need. Well, I don't know that everybody's done all the work they need to, because I feel like I've been working on my stuff for years, and I don't even think I'm close. So... Um, I think this is continually evolving here to be the person you're meant to be. And I think our life is about that. Our life is understanding that our lifetime is about who we are. It's not about all these other things. But for some unknown reason, we put ourselves through all this stuff and then we discard it all. And in doing that, we create who we are. 
okay I have the Knight of Cups here so you've definitely got someone coming in here to make an offer he's come out in every reading so is the Five of Cups so I'm just getting the same reading again so darn interesting okay I do have the Ace of Pentacles coming out here so there is that is a new one the rest of them I've seen already the Wheel of Fortune flipped out before in the reading so I know the universe is starting to move something forward Six of Cups something from your past is returning and we do have the Hanged Man, which came out in the very, uh, very first reading here. So, OK, so I've done three different readings, three different decks. This one is sort of dug deeper into the situation. OK, so we're looking at this situation a lot more deeply. Someone in the past has been living a life of an illusion. They have been trapped in this ego state and unable to see through what they have created for them in their lives. This is a, it's a, a mechanism, it's a mask that you wear to protect yourself from the bad things that can happen. But you don't need that anymore. You can discard this now. So this is very difficult energy, but they've walked into their empress here, which is absolutely beautiful because they're seeing themselves truly as they are. There is someone here who wants to work on something now. Because of this huge transformation they've been through, they now want to speak their truth. They are coming out here as the King of Swords, so they definitely are at the point where they want to express. Now, you could be dealing with an air sign, fire sign, water sign. Um, I don't have a lot of pentacles, only have the ace of pentacles here. So not much earth energy. So this person is still perhaps a little bit in their emotions and a little bit overthinking things. But that's okay. This is why they're very nervous about coming forward because they're not as grounded as they need to be. This person wants to make an offer here. This offer is probably something that will eventuate into something big. But at the moment, they're being very cautious about how they move forward. This person is feeling a great deal of love because they've been able to discard all the stuff that sat in front of that love so they may have been masking it they may have been denying it they may have been living in this illusion and thinking that the love they felt they could put behind everything else and try to live a life and forget about some sort of love here that they've had for you but it's been very difficult for them to do that and and it's funny because it's like the very act of putting trying to put the love behind them and pretend it doesn't exist is the very thing that is creating this need to bring the truth to the surface so it's almost like cathartic so your love your love and their love for you has in effect created the change that was needed because it's healed here it's healed the very thing that has stopped this person coming forward actually feeling quite emotional here going into that energy so for some of you here somebody's going to come forward and probably propose a very small offer to you um, I want to say to you, you know, if you're going to go into that whole, I don't want someone back from my past, I don't want this, I don't want that, when then this isn't your reading, so you shouldn't be listening to it. But for those people who have been on the twin flame journey, um, this is very much a twin flame reading. This is the story of two people who meet, who are deeply wounded by their pasts. And in meeting and creating a love for each other, they've created the very answers to their problems. And now both people have had to go through a great deal of transformation. Now, very often with the twin flame relationship, one person who is more empathic has gone through that from the very start of you know, their lives, they've realized from a very young age that something wasn't right. And they've worked on that all the way through to become spiritual. But you're dealing with someone here who has only just gone through the journey. And it's been very quick and very, um, very painful for them to have gone through this. But I feel now there is this beautiful push from the universe to move this forward. It's sat for too long now. And the universe has stepped in, I think, to perhaps put the final icing on the cake, as it were, because this person is now offering something a lot more substantial. They're offering something um, that is long term. I feel that they've been able to see things from a completely different way now. 
and they realize that that love they feel has been in fact what's healed them and helped them to get through to this new point. Beautiful, beautiful reading, everyone. Thank you.